An in-depth look at a line. Lesson 5. My name is Barry Kimball. This lesson will demonstrate how to use the Align tool to establish continuity between two surfaces and how curves can be used with the Align tool. Understanding the project option and using curves to modify surfaces with the Align tool. In this lesson we'll discuss using the projection option to achieve continuity between surfaces. In addition we'll cover how curves can be used with the Align tool. The key learning objectives are how to use the projection option, when to use the accept button, and how curves can be used to modify surfaces with the Align tool. I'd like to demonstrate some modifications to some surface data using the side view projection. So here we have two surfaces that maybe prior to this they were continuous but a, a change had to be made to the shape in this surface. So now I need to modify this surface to have continuity with it. Now as in previous demonstrations I've suggested that I like to modify existing data versus recreating from scratch. So if you're going to do that, the Align tool is a, a nice thing to use. So I'll turn the Align function on and request just positional. There is no con curvature continuity in this case between these surfaces and I'll ask to align these two. And the software shows that there's in fact some issue with the alignment. So when the boundary is dashed, the software can't determine the projection of this boundary onto this surface. So I'm going to, right now it's in the Y, so I'm going to try X, and that doesn't work. I'll try normal, and that doesn't work. So that's telling me that one of these ends most likely is not over top of this surface. So I'll revert and look at this I'll look at this corner and that looks pretty good. And we'll look over here. Okay, this is off just a touch. So there's a number of ways you could correct this. I'll use object edit, um, extend, and just drag this edge so that it that it matches this point. Now how can we get that exact point? Okay, and I'll undo that or go to zero. If you select this button, we can get some snap options, and I'm going to turn on these intersections. So now when I do an extend, and I select this boundary, now I get some points I can snap to. That's an exact match right now in the side view. Okay. Now when we use the align tool, we should get a, a result that works and we do. We'll use X there. So I've got an alignment that that works. I, I haven't achieved the continuity that I wanted. Could try normal and that gives me a dashed boundary because it must be that the normal direction based on how far away this surface was you can see the kind of movement that's being made here. It's got a big twist if I revert and we do that again it's quite a big change that we're asking for. So I'll do it in X. Okay, that works. Now, we're off in continuity. So how do we repair that? Well, we could increase this to 7, but a lot of people don't like to go over 6 degree. Myself, I, I don't like to go over degree 6. And what other methods could we use to make that change? Well. Before that, I would say, let the continuity that we have um, alone. We need to adjust the whole surface shape because now we've put a big twist in the end of this surface. So if I'm going to reuse this data, I'd like to take this change and move it through the rest of the surface. So for that, we can use the blending function. And we'll turn on the rows here. And maybe I'll go to zero. So now whatever change happened right at this edge happened to all the other edges. So now it's it's kind of bent that whole surface now. So whatever change we made to this main surface now has been 
imparted into this surface. Okay, and I, I like that. That looks pretty good. Now, one thing that we could do that we haven't we haven't done before is go to this side view here, and I'm going to turn on the control panel so we can get some CV controls here. And I'd like to slide. And I would like you to notice first. I'd like to to show these CVs how they're nice and uniform. Okay, so now I'd like to slide this row. And I'm going to slide this row this way a little bit to put a little more control over here to try and get this continuity. So I'll pick one of these arrows so it slides the whole row. And we'll slide over there and bang, we get continuity. But now if we go back and look at it over here, if you notice, now we've got a strange distortion in these CV structures. If I undo that, I don't really get, I don't get any better results. I still have some strange CV structure now. So I'll query edit and open the history from here, and I'm going to revert. Revert is nice because it's undone everything up to before this surface was modified by any of the CV slide tools. So what you need to do is align this edge to here, and I'll set the thing in this to the same settings we had before. And if you now want to make modifications to these control vertices, you need to lock in their current position. Otherwise, the system wants to go back to the original and it gets confused. So we've done some modifications. We've, we've made some changes to this entire surface. I'm going to accept that. Okay. And you notice that this changed. Well, one other thing that changed when we hit accept is this move to edge. Because now it, 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 it's trying to match to the curve on surface that it created. I'm going to leave that on project. Okay. Or switch it back to project. I'll close this now. I'll move my hull. We only need one. We don't need all of those. I'll pick this arrow so it moves the whole row. And I'll just slide this a little bit until we have continuity. Now if we look from over here, we have a nice shape still maintained. I'd like to show how a curve can be used in the align function to modify a surface. Most of the time in the align function we talk about modifying surfaces based on surfaces, but in addition you can use a curve to modify a surface. I'll show an example of that. If we want to maybe make a, an addition to this side of this car, make a front end, I'm going to duplicate this curve, and I'll just move it inboard just a little bit. And we have a surface here that's an extension of this side surface. Okay, So we need to add some crown and maybe some taper and some other things. So you, you could build curves and do all those other things that, that you already know how to do, but this is an example to show how the align function can be used with some of your other modeling methods. So I'll align, and this would be an edge alignment, this curve, this surface, I'm sorry, to this curve. Okay, I'm going to use the blending and I'm going to blend two rows. All right. Now any modifications that I make to this curve, the surface will follow. So as I pull this surface in, or the curve in, the surface flows in. Now you see we have kind of a strange CV structure here. I would query edit this and maybe adjust the blend factor. Now it's more arced. Okay, That's too far of a movement, so I'm just going to put that back. And I'll move this curve, curve back out. Maybe we'll go to the side view. And I'll keep the bottom point in the same location, so I'll set the pivot here. And maybe I'll scale this down. Okay. We could grab individual CVs on the curve and move those. So you can use a curve to make changes to a surface. 
maybe I will take these control vertices well let's use let's use another tool I'll use the curve stretch and if I move this point rearward the taper goes to the rest of them I could add in a point and move this forward so whatever changes I make to the curve the surface will follow I'd like to demonstrate a, another situation where a surface can be aligned to a curve to help solve a design issue. Sometimes as users we're um, given certain criteria that we cannot modify and we're simply asked to solve. So in this scenario, and this is a real scenario that I was given, I have a 1.25 millimeter tube provided by engineering and it's not linear it has shape to it as you can see and I was given an edge of part the task was to create a surface that was tangent to this tube on this side but hitting this exact edge so I was not allowed to move this curve or this fillet so what that meant was I need to find the place around this fillet where it points down at that curve and is tangent and I need to find that at every point along this three-dimensional shape so it's not planar in either in either view or any view to do that I'll show you how you can use the align to help solve that now I know this appears to be a little bit of an obscure situation but it's uh, some methods that you can use and you'll need to apply these to um, your own surface design scenarios so I'm going to delete those locators and start by aligning this this is just a duplicated curve from this edge from this surface so what I'm going to do is align this surface to this curve okay now wherever I move this curve so if I move this curve over here this surface will follow okay so I can begin to try and find the point of tangency over here where it looks like it's pretty good okay so I can see there the way this is under that if I move move this just along here I can find just about that point that I think I need okay now to verify that what we need to do is project this surface boundary onto these two surfaces and check that continuity so I'll turn off the shading now and let's go into project normal I'll grab these two surfaces and not the curve I need to use the skin because I always want to be checking to where the skin is evaluate continuity and we'll check this continuity so it shows us here that we have three degrees problem and over here we have a gap so I feel that I'm pretty close what I'm what I'm gonna do then is is take this curve and it says it's three degrees off so I'm going to move that and again I have there's the pivot point set here and I'm gonna move that down to here and then drag it along until I see that becomes tangent okay how do I know that that's tangent well for one there's no comb another method I could use is move locator and select it and right mouse button on any of these points and it will tell me the angle between the normals so it's 0.01 well below the 0.1 request in the construction tolerances so now we need to move this end of the curve so that it's lying on here 
Now if I start moving individual CVs, this could take a while. So I'm going to use the curve modify stretch function on this curve. So it'll only modify this point and taper that modification through all these points and leave this in the same location. So we have about a 0.1 angle and a 0.03 gap. So I'm just going to snap that onto here and drag until I see this find the right spot. And that surface turns green. That means along this entire edge it's continuous. Now one thing that could happen is maybe you were off in the middle. So I would turn another handle on in the middle, okay, and then grab that point. And now we could, let's say it was off in the middle, we didn't have it crowned enough. Now as I drag that point along this arc, all the points are moving. We went past too far, we can go right back and find that spot. So now that surface, basically what we have done, if you look at the horizon of that 1.25 millimeter tube, you can see the twist in that surface. We found every location along there to hit this edge apart. In this lesson you learned how to set up and establish a projection-based alignment between two surfaces and how curves can be used to modify surfaces with the Align tool.